Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and uh, feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is timestamp. If you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and uh, that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on the Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around here sometime. You know, sometimes there could be just messages for a while that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to uh, support you, move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Aries, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you could always, you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and you can see other cards that have been laid as well just for clarification purposes. All right, and if this doesn't resonate with yourself, feel free to check out your other readings which should be pinned in the corner. All right, so this this is a relationship or connection. Let's say connection that's kind of come back around again with that karma card there. This is someone that has, you know, caused you kind of um, some pain. There's been some hurt, some heartbreak here for some of you, but definitely some pain when it comes to this person, whoever this is that's come back around again. Yeah, there's acknowledgement. There's acknowledgement that at one point this person brought some form of element of positivity in your world. Uh, to yourself, foundation has definitely been definitely has been laid with the four there. But again, you know, I feel like that is very much prominent when it comes to just your feelings towards this person or just your thoughts regarding this person, which has caused you to be extremely hesitant, very hesitant with that Knight of Cups. The Knight of, Knight of Cups talks about um, just very slow moving. It's a very slow moving type of card uh, energy. And that's because you know more, you know more, you know more now. So you don't want to, you don't want to get yourself into a, a place where, you know, you, you end up here again. And not to say that you've passed or you've overcome this totally. I feel like that's still just within your awareness, just your experience, the hurt and pain that you've gone through with this person. So it's like, I know more now. So I don't want to lose it. This I don't want things to go uh, array when it comes to this person, because on some level, if you're honest with yourself, Aries, and for some of you, that's going to be quite difficult. Uh, there is this, let me just press that. There is this acknowledgement um, that you are kind of drawn to them. There's a certain level of attraction that you do still have towards this person. Your person, and this is kind of coming where you're coming from. Your person is, is a very, is a, we've got the seven of swords, which talks about just very sneaky. There's a sneaky element to them. I feel like they're doing something behind someone's back or they're not. Uh, they're kind of moving behind the scenes. Yes, they've known you for a while. Again, this is someone that they've known for a while, which is yourself. But they're trapped, constantly thinking. You've caused them this... <laughs> for this person to be trapped in their head with the Eight of Swords. Up in their head, trapped. I'm not sure how long this relationship or how long you guys have maybe not spoken or not um, seen each other or, the, you know, whatever, how long the separation is. As uh, what's, what, what's the word I'm looking for? If I can talk, how long it's been? Yeah, how little, how long this separation has been? But feels like there's definitely confusion around them regarding yourself because there's a lot of love here still for this person. I feel like you you acknowledge that this person kind of wants to get you back. But the magician card, which is quite interesting, because the magician card talks about having all the tools in the box to make something happen. They've got a level of belief that they can make something happen. Yes, there's acknowledgement that 
things have come to an end, things have ended, maybe a painful ending as well. But it's like, okay, so I need to transfer, transform this. I need to transform this. The death card talks about something, de you know, a death, but also the, the, the rebirth of something as well. So this is around transformation. They're acknowledging that there needs to be some form of transformation that they need to implement that they need to implement, which brings us to where we are at the moment. How they're showing up is the high priestess. So there is, it feels like this person feels like they've got some deep spiritual connection with you, that you're either their soulmate or twin flame for some of you that, that believe in that. But there's acknowledgement of a deep spiritual connection there. There's been some form of in incoming communication. Some information that's come into you, some maybe communication this person is communicated something to you but for you you're like uh-uh I've got my barriers I've got my guards up I've got a bit of hiccups guys so I do apologize um I've got my barriers up I've got my guards up with this person yes there's a, a level of um yeah what, what what do we call that a level of uh contentment or uh uh smirkiness or just kind of feeling good about the fact that this person has reached out but again, it doesn't take away from the fact that whatever you've experienced with this person has not been good. It's not been a good experience for you because it's caused you some form of hurt, some form of heartbreak. So it's kind of leaving you in a place where you're kind of needing to think about this, process this, balance your thinking around this. But ultimately, and we'll get into that in a minute, because ultimately your, your aim is, is you just want to move towards what makes you feel good what feels good to you you're holding on to that as well with the nine which I'm loving which I'm loving you're not wanting this person to come and rock your boat you know especially if it's been a long time I'm not sure on the, how long the separation has been or how long you've not spoken to this person um, but you're stressing them out oh you're stressing them out sleep this night type of stressing out you know for some you know really really down about this to the point where they need to pull on their inner strength. They're hiding it. They're keeping it to their self. But they realize that it's gone frosty. It's, it's frosty. It's cold uh, between the both of you. Something's changed. Just in terms of how maybe you're responding to them, how you're reacting to them. And it's really, really, really stressing them out. What I'm loving though, Aries, is your priority. It's like, I want to go with what makes me feel good. I want to go towards that ninth cup. So when we're talking about the eight of cups, we're talking about Walking away from something that you still have emotions for, there's emotions there. But the Knight Cup talks about emotional happiness. So when we're talking about the Eight of Cups, we're walking away from that towards that Knight Cup. So that's really important to you, Aries, which is good. It's like how you feel is, you know, you feeling good is important to you. And that's what you're wanting to uh, move towards. And you're holding on to that. You're holding on to that. Yes, we do have the Ace of Wands, which we'll get to in a minute, but it doesn't take away from that. It doesn't take away from that. So you've left your person in confusion. It's like they're confused. What do I do? Uh, I'm not sure because we do have that Two of Swords, sorry, the Two of Wands, which talks about having made a decision. You know, having made a decision, um, but the confusion is around, again, how do I go about whatever it is that I'm wanting and this person clearly wants to get you back. Not sure who they're... And my, my eyes are being drawn towards the seven because it's a very sneaky, sneaky energy. There's two things that's going on here. Is this person is moving behind the scenes when it comes to maybe someone else being in their life, not sharing with them the love that they still have for you or they're just not really sharing with you the extent of the love that they still have for you. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. They're just wanting a solution. It's like this person's searching for a solution regarding this situation. Not sure whether they're going to uh, succeed though. Going back to this, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands talks about an opportunity to create something, an opportunity to create something new ultimately. But not at the detriment of your happiness. It's like, I'm holding on to that. I'm going to hold on to that. And rightfully so, it reads. Hold on to that feeling because, you know, this person, I feel like this person, as much as, yeah, they're, they're at one point they made you feel good or there was a positive element 
to them being in your life, it just kind of turned. It turned into the three of swords and that it just wasn't a good experience for you. It just wasn't a good experience for you. For some of you, it was really, you know, painful, really painful, really painful. You know, when time passes, because this is someone who's definitely come around and get, and time passes and, you know, you're out of someone's life, they start to wake up, especially when you start to heal, when you start to retract or detract your energy and your focus, you know, for some reason, they kind of feel that people feel that. And, you know, it, it draws them to you, kind of, you know, makes them, it gives them space to be able to think. It gives them, it gives them space to be able to, yeah, ultimately think and realize uh, that, you know, not to say that it stopped, but I feel like this person, yeah, I'm going to say there's an urgency about them, but there is this, this, um, this, this, high priestess this, this yeah deep spiritual connection that they feel that they have with you that you both have that's that's driving them that's driving them so usually we move into part two of the reading where we just kind of expand on this for those of you that are interested but i will be implementing that next week guys so look out for that so hopefully as it stands this is giving you some form of clarity um, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. I will be implementing the singles soon, guys, as well. So just give me a bit of time when it comes to that. Um, but other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.